Or focus, focus, focus. Okay, great. These are cylindrical objects now. He looks like he's seen some shit, you know? Hey, welcome or welcome back to another video. So today we're doing a sketch and chat with me where you guys watch me sketch and I talk about random nonsense that I've been thinking about. So uh, yeah, for this video, I'm just finishing the last page of this section of my sketchbook. If you didn't already know, I divide my sketchbook into different sections. So this is section two that I'm finishing right here in this video. And yeah, after this, we're gonna have a sketchbook tour, part two. I already have part one up, so go check that out if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, part two after this video. So yeah, lately I've just been like abusing these like Prismacolor erasables. I have the red one and I have the blue one, and I love them more than I love myself. And uh, yeah, they're, they're actually really nice. I don't usually like erase them. Like I know they're erasables, but I don't usually use them that way. But they provide like a different texture that I like that's not like available in like the usual Prisma colors. So yeah, I just go in and layer those. And also I have my micron, my point twos. That's like weirdly specific, but that's like the only like size they had. So I was like, you know what? We'll just do a point two. And I usually use that for like more of like a scratchy effect on my page. And then my Tom Bow markers, which I really, really love. And I will continue to endorse. And uh, yeah, at first I got really annoyed that they like blended all the time. But it actually works really nice when you layer it on top of like the Prisma colors that I have. So like if I do a red light fill in like a red sort of scratchy sketchy and then i go over it with the yellow or something like that then it all like blends it makes like this other color but you can still see like the colored pencil texture underneath you know so it like blends somewhat it blends to like the amount that i like maybe like 50 percent blend oh and also a uh, surprise we have an unboxing in this video i know it's not my usual shtick but like i went to miniso and i found this little like lego thingy well it's not technically lego i know lego's a brand but like you know what I mean when I say Lego. And uh, yeah, it's like these three little Coke bottles in a basket, and they're really cute. And I'll probably move on to that segment now. It's unboxing time. So I got this, and it, at first I didn't think that it would have a lot of pieces, but here it says 43, so it's making me kind of concerned. So yeah, and it says six plus, which is good. So that means I put the, the age range. This was about like three dollars, I think. These are all the unfocused, focus, focus. Okay, great. These are like all the other options. Like my other friend got this one. These are really cute too. So yeah. Let's see Okay, manual. So yeah, there's like a couple different options and at first I thought these were like, I don't know, would come with less like different pieces for some reason. Like in my head I was like, oh they're really small so it's gonna be like a kinder surprise type thing. Like, oh you just tuck tuck three things together and then move on. But no, it said like 48 pieces or something on the front and I was like, <laughs> 48? And like my nails are pretty long because they grow so fast. Like I cut them like a week ago. Or no, this was like a week and a half ago, and they're already this long. But anyway, I didn't cut my nails before this, so it was a bit of a nightmare, and the pieces kept on getting stuck together, and I kept on calling my sister over, who's literally six years younger than me, to like unstick the pieces of Lego. <laughs> so bad. Me as an adult, calling my six year younger sister over to unstick two pieces of Lego from my miniature Coke bottles. That sounds crazy. But yeah, also the amount of struggle that these gave me is actually embarrassing. Not just like getting the pieces stuck or whatever, but like there's like that thin rod in the center that like holds the top part of the coke bottle to the red bit, okay? But the rod, it doesn't go fully inside the bottom, so it needs to semi-stick into the bottom. But I didn't know that it was supposed to semi-stick, so I put it into the top of the cap, pushed it way too far into the top of the cap, and then the rest won't fit because it's supposed to go into the bottom. Huh? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense now that I'm explaining it. And I'm just, like, I myself am very confused on what went wrong. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, my guilty pleasure is like buying like these mini little figurines because I'm like, I love trinkets and like I've had them everywhere, like over my dresser. Even my PC has become like littered with stuff. 
and I, I kind of like it. I don't know, hoarder mentality, I guess. Yeah, I'm embracing it now. Okay, so here's our end product. Aren't they cute? They're like kind of adorable, except for like this middle guy, like this one. He looks like he's seen some shit, you know? <laughs> Tell me what horrors you've seen. Yeah, honestly, overall, like it's pretty cute. Some of the pieces kept on getting stuck together, which was really annoying, and I had to literally like bring my sister over to <laughs> unstick the pieces for me. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a mess. They did give me these three extra pieces, which is cute. Good, just in case. Uh, yeah, and the basket's a bit of a tight fit for all the little guys. I feel like they need multiple beds. Having them share, I'll share one bed is child abuse. But there we go. They don't really stand well on their own either. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. The world said you can't, but you can't. No, he can't. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, the box says small parts not for children under three years. So that's probably why I struggled a lot building it. I'll just put in the transition here. So this page I have here became halfway through a bit of a mess. Like... <laughs> I was scared that we were gonna have another incident like the page before where I heavily struggled to like fix it but uh, I ended up salvaging it but this was like a lot of me like freaking out and being like should I film a different spread? like should I just like dump all of this footage and film a different one? but like this is technically the last page of the section so I'm like I don't want to do the next page because that's like cheating it has to be the section also, I feel like red and blue is like the superior color scheme and I don't know why. They're just like meant to be together. Like when I was making my portfolio for like art school, I had this struggle where like almost everything was the same color scheme. Almost everything I made was red and blue. I was like, I need to diversify. I need to stop. That's why I had to make so many new things. Because I was like, most of my stuff uses the same color schemes or has like the same like themes and like concepts and ideas. Like everything kind of like looks the same. So I just switch things up. But yeah, in my own sketchbook, I will abuse red and blue because <laughs> this is for me. Yeah, lately I've been really like, I've been really liking this like textured feel, like layering lots of different like materials on top of each other, and blending and stuff like that. Because before I used to be very, I don't know, a lot more like clean and a lot more like precious with my sketchbook and even how I sketched. Even if I didn't show it to anyone, that was just how I was. I just wanted things to be like clean in their place and I had to know like how things were going. But yeah, I've learned to let loose and I'm pretty proud of that. Like you'll see in like my next like sketchbook tour video, like this section has like a very clear development, like in my style. Like it's like a very clear like linear development and that's, yeah. It's just pretty interesting to see like from the perspective of someone who's like looking for that type of thing like i just happened to be flipping through and i was like actually this is like a thing this is like <laughs> there's like a very clear like progression and like this one section of time it's just really interesting to me i feel like you could go like years without developing and then like one day you wake up and it's like wow i can draw this thing and this thing and i know how to do that it like seems kind of random but it's like everything you've done to that point kind of led up to it in some way like even if you weren't like practicing that specific thing like for example specifically how to draw like a tree you were still practicing like other things that could help you draw the tree like your shading or like drawing i don't know cylindrical objects trees are cylindrical objects now um yeah stuff like that like how you understand light how you understand shapes how you understand like depth of field all that type of stuff it's just pretty interesting to like observe yourself yeah, lately I've been like resisting the urge to buy more art supplies because <laughs> I have gone almost this entire summer without buying new stuff because I'm like, you know what? I don't need new stuff. I like splurged a lot like my first year. I need to save money. I don't need any more art supplies. I can use what I already have, but I'm so tempted and there's just like art stores everywhere and I need new markers and new... Okay, I don't need. I'm just exaggerating. I'm like, if I voice what I'm thinking, it'll I'll realize that it sounds stupid and I shouldn't do it. This spread is kind of giving like stained glass energy. I don't know why. Like the first one is like haunted house. The second one is like stained glass and like an abandoned house. Okay, same idea, haunted house, abandoned house. 
there's, there's a theme here. Okay, so here's the final product. This is the last page of this section of my sketchbook. So next video is going to be sketchbook tour part two for all of this. So uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, stick around for that. And yeah, I hope you have a good whatever, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.